Welcome to another episode of the Financial Armor Show. My name is Jose Rodriguez, investment advisor at Cooper Financial Investment and your host for today. Uh, as always, I want to introduce my amazing co-host, Tony Shore. How are you doing, Tony? Jose, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on your show today, Jose. I appreciate it. And it's fun to be here. Uh, we were talking a bit before the show about the weather and yeah. finally some decent weather. Um, it doesn't feel like we're on the doorstep of Hades anymore. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> actually, I wore my first time, and I guess in the last, I would say, what, seven months, I wore a hoodie. Uh, took Holy the, Took the top off my Jeep. Oh, uh, wow. Wow. And, you know, I just left it off. And windows windows open right now, yeah, right? I everything. Mean, at night, you sleep better. It's so nice. I then, love it. I love the what, fall. What ended up happening was I left it with the top off and then a random uh, 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 rain, random uh, a little rain of came over. Never fails, right? I yeah. mean, the minute you take that top off. It hasn't rained in five years. Uh, right. <laughs> record drought. And right. uh, all we need to do to make it rain, I guess, is I just call up Jose. If, if we're in a drought, I just call, Jose, can you take the top <laughs> off your Jeep? Um, because we need the rain. We need I the think water. That's exactly what we, we need, need the do. moisture. Uh, Arizona <laughs> is getting too dry. Can you just go ahead, take that top off and leave it out there overnight? That's exactly that that's really, that's exactly what happens because that's funny because <laughs> the t two times that I've ever done this, they it both rained the two times. <laughs> it is ridiculous. I have the worst <laughs> luck. Thankfully, the jeeps uh, are made to withstand all the rain. Uh, I, I wish I could say I felt bad laughing, but it's just too. <laughs> it's uh, you can't make it up. It's classic, well, but I feel bad for you. So it rained. You get the inside of your jeep got wet, but it's yeah. uh they're made good. The jeeps are made. You just take a towel out there, dry it off, and go. Right. I, I mean, I just left the windows. I mean, I put the top back on just in yeah. case. <laughs> but uh, right. I uh, I just left the windows open, and then it by afternoon like maybe 3 p.m it was totally fine yeah yeah back to normal yeah well with the arizona weather it dries out pretty fast it just randomly <laughs> went back to 90s after me and 60s yeah ridiculous yeah 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 the weather's been crazy but even up here i'm in minnesota and right now and i'll tell you what the weather has been whoo nice Enjoy this time it. of year is the time of year i mean we've been hitting upper 70s and then at night in the upper 50s, low 60s, you leave the windows open. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I, I mean, I just, I love the fall. And finally, Arizona gets rid of the extreme heat and it cools down a bit. That's nice. Cooling down by, by that, you mean 90s. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, from 112 or 111, yeah. you know, I'll take that any day. Yeah. After 10 days of 111, you know, we'll take, <laughs> we'll take the 90s. It feels like a, feels like winter time, right? Yeah. Certainly. So, okay. Well, I know that you have a great show lined up for us today. Uh, we're talking about preserving retirement savings, you said. I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, what does that mean? What are we talking about here? So in today's context, I want to emphasize on preserving your your your, sa your savings and, and assets for retirement. Uh, but with a different angle, uh, specifically on taxes. And this is something that if you're a client of ours, you probably already heard uh, a lot of these little things it might just be reminders. But for people that are not our clients or just tuning in, these are things that we on a daily basis when we get new clients coming in, these are the things that we look for as far as how can this person uh, keep as much as they can from their nest egg and not giving it to the IRS as much possible legally with the help of our our uh, our uh, CPA friends. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. I I know that you take a look at the overall uh, tax picture as far as how it plays into your overall financial plans for your clients, and especially looking forward to retirement rather than looking back. Uh, especially, uh, but it is good to have somebody looking at the big picture as far as mm -hmm. tax planning. Uh, sure, you don't do tax preparation. You're not a CPA, uh, but I know you work closely with tax professionals that you and Brad and everyone there at Cooper Financial 
uh, you do like to make sure you're factoring in tax strategies to mm -hmm. people's overall retirement plans when you uh, make them. And you come up with written retirement plans and financial plans for people, for your clients and people you meet with, right? Exactly. Exactly. And I want to go over uh, five points that I uh, wrote down that we go over uh, every time when uh, essentially these are just checklists. Okay. Is okay. This, does this apply? Because not all of these apply to everyone. Sure. It's not a cookie cutter way of doing things. It's just kind of our, uh, our version of a checklist of, okay, does this affect them? Does it apply to them or anything like that? So the first one on the list, and this is for more for pre to retire, uh, uh, I guess a little bit farther back in uh, as far as 10, maybe years uh, of uh, for retirement, making sure you take advantage of employee benefits. Uh, 401ks, uh, 403Bs, 457s, whenever you contribute to those, uh, whatever you contribute gets deducted from your paycheck. So nice. let's, let's say you have a thousand dollars, you pay, get paid a thousand dollars for that pay period and you contribute $300 for that pay period into your 401k, only $700 gets taxed, uh, which if you're in that low ta lower tax bracket, it might not be too much of a, uh, of a, of a tax help. But if you're, let's say you're someone that, uh, let's say a single filer and you're making over 200, $200,000, uh, first of all, call us. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're going to uh, want to so, make sure that money is being actively managed and your, right. your retirement funds, uh, the more you have in there, especially, but, but you're right. I mean, it can add up. I mean, you know, whether mm -hmm. you make, uh, let's say you make a hundred thousand a year and your wife makes a hundred thousand a year mm -hmm. and you each put in 10% out of mm -hmm. each check into your 401k, that's, uh, that's, you know, 20% off your taxable income for the year. Right. right. And then, and then it depends on where you're at in that tax bracket. Uh, uh, you could, maybe you're right on the cusp or you're just above, and then just making this little change of just contributing a couple of, a uh, couple hundred dollars a month into your employer 401k that might bring you down a tax bracket. Yeah. And then what and, and then also big picture, what that could mean for you, uh, it might mean that you get to keep some of your some benefits that you might be taking, taking advantage of. Uh, so that's something that we take a look at uh, uh, on, a, on a daily basis for every sure. one of our clients. Sure. Yeah. The lower you can get your taxable income before retirement and, of course, in retirement, uh, mm -hmm. it means you will qualify for other things, too. Uh if you have a lower income and you're trying to help your kids uh, qualify to get more help for better student loans or FAFSA, mm -hmm. as it's called, mm -hmm. uh, the less taxable income you have, the better, the better the benefits you're going to get. So I'm glad you mentioned benefits. Uh, there are a lot of things that your income affects as far as benefits out there. Right. Um, even, even once you're retired, you want to try to get your, you want to be in a lower tax bracket because um, that can affect how much taxable income you have affects how much you pay for Medicare premiums and things like that. So that that's huge. But also, doesn't it, uh, another big thing to look out for and a way to preserve your retirement savings is taking advantage of a, a match, right? Because right, if you're right. contributing to those plans, you get a match. Right. It's a, it's, it's just essentially free money that your employer is giving you. Right. And it just it, it helps you with the growth, it, it, the, your overall funds grow faster. So if you can take advantage of that match, definitely. Yeah. Uh, but the, from the scope that I want to emphasize is definitely if it could help you reduce your tax, your tax, your overall taxable income, let's take advantage of that. Right now, secondly, and Again, right now, this is a season that a lot of our, our existing clients and uh, also new clients are, are we're all having this conversation this particular ne month, next couple months, Roth conversions. Ah, With the help of uh, our CPA team, uh, the CP, the, they help us uh, do tax projections yes. where, okay, how much does it make, how much funds does it make sense to move from an IRA to a Roth IRA this year uh, where we don't 
overpaying taxes, where it just becomes ridiculous. Uh, and if you're uh, above the age of 65, doesn't affect your Medicare premiums. Irma. Right. Right. And uh, third, and uh, maybe other other uh, uh, benefits that you may be receiving at the time. Um, so we're talking about the opposite thing now. You went from talking about contributing to a traditional 401k or yep. IRA, taking advantage of those employer sponsored rec- accounts to get save money on this year's taxes. But if you look ahead mm-hmm. to your taxes in retirement and want to minimize your uh, taxable income in retirement, You have to uh, have tax-free options, and that's where maybe it is smart to pay the taxes on that money now and put it into a Roth because then it grows tax-free, and you don't have to pay taxes on the growth or the principal. So right right now, taxes are on sale, right, Jose? Right. They're they're at all-time low, so we got to take advantage of that, move that over. Uh, pay the taxes uh, and to move it into a Roth IRA if, if it's possible and if it makes sense, uh, because sometimes it just it doesn't make sense. But that's one of the conversations that we have. Does yeah. it make sense? Do you want to pay? Ta- I'd rather right. pay taxes on uh, the old saying. Would you rather pay taxes on the seed? Or right. Would you rather pay crop. taxes on the harvest, the crop yep, 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 and yep. the seed is going to be much smaller. And so I'd rather pay taxes now when taxes are low mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. not have to pay taxes on that money when I pull it out in retirement to use right. as income when taxes are uh, almost everybody agrees will be higher. Right. right? And, th- and here's a little example of where this makes sense, might not make sense. Right. So, yes, that's the ultimate goal. If you are going to need income from your IRA, some people do, some people don't. It all depends. Right. right? But there's a lot of people in these situations where, you know, growing up, you know, when you were young professionals, they were just told pull a bunch of money in 401ks, which is good. Uh, But what happens? You get into retirement and somehow you secured a really good pension. And now you t- put uh, Social Security on top of that. And now you all don't really need for, for income purposes to take out IRA uh, from your IRA. When you turn 73, you're going to be required to take money out, which means that you are going to have to pay taxes on that. Now, when you get to that point, you could do what's called a QCD, a Qualified Charitable Distribution. So... The reason why it might not make sense to do a Roth conversion is if you just have a little bit of money into a, uh, a 401k or an IRA, you know, that our requirement of distribution might be maybe a thousand dollars. And if you can just give it to a charity, a, a church, a charity, and then it would just be tax free and you don't have to worry about it. That is uh, uh, the, one of the uh, scenarios where it wouldn't make sense to pay the taxes and move it into a Roth IRA because you're not going to pay taxes on it anyway when it comes to sure. uh, the requirement of distributions. So it's that just two sense. different scenarios. Plus, there are rules around Roth IRAs as to how much you can contribute and who can contribute, uh, how much you're making. Uh, there are there are different aspects. So for some people, it's going to be the best possible scenario to create that tax-free income, uh, but not necessarily for everyone. Is that what I hear? Right. You yeah. That's why it's important for everyone to consult with us and make sure that if it makes sense to do this, what kind of accounts do I have access to, uh, to contribute uh, and invest in uh, so I don't have to pay a lot of taxes later. I don't have to pay a, tax, a lot of taxes within in the middle between now and my retirement age. Uh, because you're right, Roth, uh, Roth IRAs have their own rules. They're mm-hmm. great because they grow tax free. And when you take money out and uh, it's, it's tax free distribution, but yeah. uh, there are income limits uh, where uh, for an individual filer, I think it's right now it's $130,000. If you make more than that, you're not going to be able to contribute. Uh, for a, a couple, it's 230000 around that uh, area. So uh, it, it, there's some limits. You know, it's it's, it's, right. there, it's not such thing as uh, too much to be true. It's just, you know, yeah. you're limited to uh, a certain amount of, uh, of money you can put in there. Sure. Um, 
Sure. But it is a good option. I know, you know, and uh, Brad's done whole shows on Roth mm-hmm. conversions before, and that's because it's such a great tool. But again, like you said, you have to be working with, don't make any of these decisions without working with a trusted financial services professional, a fiduciary, somebody who's going to be looking out for your best interests. And I know you have a great team there at Cooper Financial. So uh, before we move on, Jose, I want to remind everyone out there, uh, pick up the phone if you have questions. Give Jose, uh, Brad, and the rest of the team a call there, 888-390-5277. Again, that's 888-390-5277. Seven seven. So, wanted to throw that in there really quick, Jose. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what else? What else do we need to know? So, it, it and it all goes down to the way that we take. Uh, and my last point I wanted to make is it, it's uh, the way that we take funds out as soon as we retire. You know, we have the first ten years. We have the go 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 years. Yeah. Right. You're still young and you want to conquer the world it's almost like you're reborn I've, I've heard that before from a couple of retirees yeah. it's almost like they're reborn they have to, uh, all these new things that they want to do and they get really excited um so th- they have the go-go years right and, and and that's the time in your retirement journey where you spend the most amount of money because yeah. you're doing a lot of things you have a lot of time to do try new hobbies, go on trips, go on vacation, cruises, all of that, those kinds of things. So st- the distribution plans that we build for folks are we, we take into account taxes because, again, you're going to be taking uh, some of sometimes you would be taking money out from taxable accounts. If we take out this amount of money, this X amount of money uh, to make sure that we go on this trip say $10,000 for a cruise or something, right? Uh, how will that affect you and your tax bracket, your, t- your benefits, Medicare? How will it all be in big picture? How would it all affect you? And that's something that uh, we take into account. We know that early on, when planning for retirement early on, we know that you're going to spend a lot more money. And then we plan for the taxes that come with that. So, uh, yeah, and a plan, I hear the word plan come up a lot, Jose, <laughs> and that's that's the important part of all of this. Uh, but you're right. I mean, and taxes can really derail somebody's retirement plans if they're not properly planning for it, right? And so you need to be prepared. And a way that you're going to preserve your retirement savings is by having a plan, number one, working with mm-hmm. a financial professional, Like you said, uh, look at those charitable gifts you could possibly make. Look at Roth IRAs, maximize your current employer accounts like 401ks, 403bs. Uh, These are all great tips. Uh, And you have to make sure you're saving for retirement properly. I I heard a statistic that like Gen Xers, which is my age group, uh, I think those born between 1965 and 1980, Um, Mm -hmm. Only uh, 45% of them have little to no retirement savings or retirement plan. Wow. And those people are in their 50s. So uh, that's not good. We need, you need a plan in place. You need to make sure you're shoring up that uh, retirement plan. And I I do mean shore it up, pun intended. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh, So, so, uh, but to do that, that's where you come in, Jose. And I think it's really, really important, isn't it? Yes, it is uh, having a professional that takes into that takes a problem like a, a, or essentially something that is important to you, which is preserving your savings and assets for retirement and trying to accomplish that from a multiple different angles, different contexts, which is something that uh, uh, Brad and I talk about uh, all the time is protecting your nest egg, uh, which we talk about what could get in the way when well, taxes is one of them. And that's why today we wanted to bring that up is how can taxes get in the way of, of retirement and then how we can save uh, yeah. uh, your nest egg from that. 
Yeah, sure. exactly. Well, a taxes sure can get in the way. It's uh, mm -hmm. Uncle Sam. I don't even think he's my real uncle. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Uncle Sam and Aunt Irma, I hear you talk about uh, them, Jose. And I'm like, uh, man, I don't even, that's not, they aren't my real aunt and uncle. And uh, <laughs> uh, I don't I don't know about those two. They're um, the ones that all want to, always want to take money from you. And they say all the nice things just so you can, <laughs> they see you're right. doing well. So they want a little something from you. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, Jose, a, a lot to think about here. So again, why don't you let our listeners out there know how they can get a hold of you, Brad, uh, the staff there at Cooper Financial to get that plan in place? Yeah. So you can reach out to you in multiple different ways. Uh, financialarmorshow.com. Uh, our phone number, 888-390-5277. Uh, cooperfinancial.com as well to schedule uh, uh, your free first appointment uh, uh, where we yep. can take you through the process and see how these all would affect you. How would th yep. does it make sense to do any of these? Or, yep. uh, when it comes the to only thing time? it'll cost you is your time. There's no charge, exactly. no obligation. Exactly. Right. Well, again, I'll give that number one more time, Jose, before we go. That's 888 three nine zero five two seven seven and jose great show talking about taxes something a lot of people think they don't need to worry that much about mm -hmm. or hey i have my tax prepare prepare my taxes each year i'm not worried about it i'm not going to worry about taxes in retirement because i'm going to be in a lower income tax bracket but that's not necessarily mm -hmm. the case and everybody's situation is different so Make that appointment now to see a professional. There's no charge or obligation. Uh, you might as well and talk to the folks at Cooper Financial. Uh, Jose, great show today. Thank you. Um, Brad who? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you do such a good job. No, no. Brad's been really busy, and I'm glad uh, that you and him are, are taking turns hosting the show. I know you guys are getting ready to move into some new offices here in a couple yeah. of months. We'll be talking more about that. Uh, but listeners, thanks for tuning in. That does it for today's episode of the Financial Armor Show with our host, Jose Rodriguez.